Occasionally you will get terrible scouting maps. Well, not occasionally. All the freaking time you're going to get maps that are absolutely terrible for scouts. Because a few patches ago, Wargaming decided that scouts were overpowered, even though they weren't, and nerfed them into oblivion. But now, luckily, they're changing things and they're starting to buff scouts again. So what do you do on a map like Ansk where you can't really spot anyone because your team doesn't have shots at them if you do? So I like to sit back and wait for scouts to come through our lines looking for our arty or whatever and then go and kill them. Or if it's not a scout, occasionally an enemy player will get themselves into a really stupid location all by themselves and then I like to rush in and and try and kill them. And they're usually not very good players if they do this, so you can usually kill them without taking a hit or with only taking, you know, one minor hit. So it's like 500 free damage points. So again, I'm just gonna sit back and um, not even passive scout, I'm, I'm not even close enough to the front lines to passive scout, so I'm, I'm just going to sit back safely and act as a sniper until a lot more of the enemy players are dead and it's safer for me to go out and start brawling. So again, we're just sitting here invisibly, taking any free shots we can get and doing a little bit of damage, and we've actually scored very well already. If the game ended here, we'd do fairly well. So it's very nice of the enemy team to continually come out into our view and let us shoot them. And now it's 10 on 10. Oh, 9 on 10. And we try and hit this TD behind the train, but it's not working. Now I'm starting to think about what to do here. And my decision is made for me when a, a couple enemy come graciously out into view, and we get some more free shots at this 12T, and oh no, uh, there's a guy, well, all around us now. So who do we go for? And now our team is down three, and it looks like we've lost the game. So now that I don't have much help, I, I was going to go in and try and flank, but now that would be too dangerous, and they are already get spotted, so I'm just happy to sit here and take a few shots at him. But of course he disappears, and now we have a decision to make again. Scouts are always easy to kill, especially ones without turrets. <laughs> so if you ever see an ELC AMX, uh, just ram them or get behind them and there's absolutely nothing they can do. And they're really light, so even in a light tank you can ram them and do tremendous amounts of damage to them. Now here, this TD looks like he's stuck. So isn't that nice for us? We get to have some free shots on him, but it looks like he's getting free, so we shoot the front wheel to track him, and that gives us enough, enough time to finish him off. And you'll notice our team is still down, and luckily we're just starting to catch up here. So now I'm going to go hunt that arty because I know he's up here and he's relatively unprotected. And he runs away as if he's French.
And now I know he's going to be turning around to get a shot at me as I come up on him as fast as he can. So I'm going to poke out, make it look like I'm going to one side of the building, and then as, as I go invisible, I'm going to go back to the other and trick him. And it works because he's facing the other side of the building and I can easily get around him. We track him and then it's an easy kill. And now the, the game still is in jeopardy. We have finally worked our way back into the lead. But now, now it's virtually over. And just like the LC AMX, the 12T is rather light and ramming them is never a bad idea. And we have way more hit points than him and it's just a, a DPM battle and we win that score 14,800 on the win 8.